how you got that. So he said 13 and 16. Do y'all agree with him? Yeah, good. All right. So how'd you go about doing that? You added one to each side. Okay. Oops, let me turn that off. Okay. It is the Lion King. So you added one to each side. So how many did we have in the first stage? How many did we have in the second? How many do we have in the third? Okay. And then we had 13 and 16. What are we going up by each time? Okay. So then that means that stage zero would be one. Okay. Because the difference between here and here would have to be three, right? With linear functions, the first difference is always going to be the same. All right. So here it is again. The first difference is always going to be the same with linear functions. I would write that down. Avery also said, it's Avery, right? Yeah, Avery also said he noticed the pattern because it was adding one to each side. So for instance, for stage four, we would have something that looks like this. And then for stage five, we would have something that looks like that, okay? For stage zero, we would just have one tile. Okay, so if you're more of a visual person, that's fine. You can do it that way as well. Okay. So today we're going to use pattern tasks to revisit linear functions that contain a y-intercept that is not at the origin. Okay. So using that little pattern that we just built, let's fill in this table. So what? how many tiles were in stage zero? How many were in stage one? Uh, mm. It should have been four, right? What about the next one? And then, and then, and then, okay. So each time we're adding how many? Okay, and we started with one tile and we added three tiles to each stage. Okay, so when we write out the equation for this guy, we're gonna have what we're adding each time be our slope. And what we started with in stage zero be our y-intercept. So y-intercept is what we started with. And slope is what we're adding each time. So slope is what we're adding each time. And then y-intercept is our stage zero. Okay, so now let's talk about actually graphing it. So our y-intercept is zero, one. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go up one. The next point is one comma four. So we're gonna go to the right one and up four. On the next one, we've got two seven. So we're gonna go to the right two and up seven. Three 10 is our next one. We go to the right three and up 10. And you should be seeing this straight line continue. So right four, up 13, and then right five and then up 16. And hopefully you can draw a better straight line than I can, but this is my best attempt. Bam, too good. Okay, so remind me, what type of function is this guy? Linear, how do we know that it's linear? It's that straight line, right? Okay, that should be quick and easy, right? Linear, straight line, cool. All right, so I want to get a little bit of practice. You're going to flip the page um, a few times. And it should look like this page. Okay, so on this page, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the pattern. We're going to write the equation. And we're also going to write the table. 
Those are the three things that we're going to do. Okay. So on this first one, how many tiles do I have in stage one? Five, five right? Okay. What about stage two? And what about stage three? Okay. So how much am I going up by each time? Okay. So I'm going up by two. So in stage zero, what would that be? Okay. How'd you get that? Mm -hmm. So then we were going backwards, we we're going to subtract two, right? Okay, cool. All right, so now we're going to write the equation, right? So you told me that we're going up by two. So that means that we're going to have a slope of two. And then what was our initial amount? What was our stage zero? So we're going to say plus three. Now we're going to write the table. So at stage zero, we had three. At stage one, we had five. At stage two, we had seven. And at stage three, we had nine. So all I did was turn these numbers into a table. For my people who like stepped, because I'm, I'm a step person, that's, that's what I like. The first thing I did was count files. Then I found the first difference. And then I found stage zero. And that helps me write that equation. Can you try number two? Let's see how you did. So how many tiles are in stage one? Five. How about stage two? How about stage three? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the difference between these was two, right? Okay, remember, for it to be linear, it has to have the same first difference, right? Okay, now what would stage zero be? Three, cool. So when we write our equation, we're gonna have y equals two x plus three. Okay, and then our table, is going to be 0, 3, 2, I'm sorry, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9. Do you notice how it's the exact same thing as what we got on the first one? How many of y'all got that right? Y'all. All right, so go ahead, um, do me a favor, turn to your neighbor and see if you got the same equation as them. See if you got the same equation as them. All right, so let me ask, which I'll give you all this equation. Y equals 2x plus 6. Did everybody get that? Okay, are we okay on this? Okay, let me change it up a little bit. Ready? Here's, for, here's some craziness. Now, on the next one, it says find the perimeter. What does perimeter mean? You add up what? All the sides, okay? So when you're doing this, watch this, watch the board. When I do stage one, I'm going to get one, two, three, four. So on stage one, I'm going to have four. On the next one, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it looks a little crazy. Next one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so each little like section you're counting. What are these going up by? Four. Okay, so our difference is four. So what's our stage zero gonna be? Right, it's just gonna be zero. So our equation is gonna be y equals four x plus zero. Could I just write that as y equals 4x? Yeah. 
for our table, it's going to be 0, 0, then 1, 4, 2, 8, and then 3, 12. Can you try the next two? Try the next two. Once you finish them, check them with your partner. Okay, remember, we're doing perimeter on these two. So this one, what was your equation on this guy? Y equals 4X. It was the same thing as the last one, right? Okay, so on this next one, when y'all are counting these, you gotta be real careful. I like to draw my pencil like on the paper, okay? I'm a visual person. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six sides on this one. On stage two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Saw some craziness on that second stage, so be careful. Stage three, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I got fourteen. So again, make sure that you're counting all the sides. Yeah. Why did I not count the ones in the middle? Really quick. Why didn't I not count this guy or this guy? It asked for the perimeter, so that's the outside, right? So some people put like 16 for this. You got to be careful. Yeah. All right, so what are they going up by each time now? Four. So what would be stage zero? It would be two. Okay, so our equation would be y equals 4x plus two. Okay. For our table, we would have 0, 2, 1, 6, 2, 10, and 3, 14. Are there any questions on this one? Okay, you have to pay attention to, are they asking for the tiles or are they asking for the perimeter? Because that does change your answer, okay? So make sure that you always read up at the top. On function B, what is the pattern? So what's stage one? How many tiles? One. How many tiles on the second one? Two. And then the next one? Three. Okay, so what would be stage zero? Zero. Okay, cool. So what are we going up by each time? So we're increasing by one each time. Okay. When you fill it in that table down at the bottom, or over here, you should have had one, two, three, four, and then five. That's a mess, let me clean that up. And then if you're writing the equation, so uh, question number three, you would say y equals one x, and we would say plus zero, or you can see that off. Okay. Are we okay on that one? All right. On the next one, this one is going to not be linear, but I want to just go ahead and introduce it to you because you are going to see it. Okay. So in figure one, how many tiles are white? One. How many tiles are white in the second one? Mm, four, right? Four. Okay. How about the third one? Oh, no. Okay. All right. So we see right here that between here and here, the difference, or if you subtracted it, so four minus one would give you three. If you subtracted nine minus four, that would give you five, right? Notice how this is not the same. Yeah. If we were to find the second difference, that means subtract the numbers of the differences you just found. Okay, so here's my first difference. Here's my second difference. My second difference between these two would be two. I'm assuming that my second difference would be the same. Okay, so if that's the case, then that would have to make the next number 
have to be seven because the difference between five and seven is two. Does that make sense? And we'll we'll get more into this because I know we haven't talked about quadratics much. But what I need you to know is that the second difference, if it's the same, then it's a quadratic. If the second difference is the same, then it would be a quadratic. So the next number would actually be 16 because nine plus seven would give me 16. What's the parent function for quadratics? What's the equation for that guy? What's the equation for quadratic functions? Do you remember? Y equals X squared. Well, if we take each one of these X's and we square it, we would get the number on the other side, right? Okay, so this is gonna be our equation for that quadratic. So this is the answer to number three. If you were filling in your table, your next number would be 25. Because if we took five squared, we would get 25. Okay, again, a lot more information than you probably need. It's okay. Okay, let's see if we can fill in the table for the next one. Go ahead and take a moment. I'm telling you now, the next one is not linear and it's not gonna be a quadratic. However, you can still figure out the pattern. Can you fill in the table on that third one? Okay, so what is it doing each time? Multiplying by two. Okay, so we're multiplying by two each time. So what would be the next one? Okay, and then the next one? So this is what we're gonna be calling an exponential. Okay, so if they don't have a common first difference or a second difference, then they're gonna be exponential. So no common first or second difference. Questions over that. Okay, for my equation, this is the answer to number three. We're gonna have y equals two raised to the x. That's an exponential. So how would you do it with a picture? Like how could you do about doing that? Keep adding three tiles, right? We can add it on each one, right? Okay, so we're down here. We would say, add a tile to each side. What about table? How would we go about filling in the tent? Okay. But you could add three each time all the way up to 10, right? Okay. So add three each time up to 10. What about the equation? What could you do? What could you plug in? Well, we have the equation y equals 3x plus 1. What would we plug in for x? 10. And that would give us 3 times 10 plus 1. 3 times 10 is 30 plus 1. That would give us 31, right? Is that what you got? No? Um, hmm? Oh, wow. Okay. What about the graph? How could that help us? Plotting the, line. plotting the line and kind of seeing where it would go, right? So which do you think is the easiest? The equation, right? So if you can write the equation for this, it makes your life a little bit easier, right? And Okay, so this one, we could either have cube root, cubic, exponential, or linear. 
majority of y'all said cube root. That is correct. So that's the one that has that little three in the cubby hole. Okay. And you would graph it. Okay. Um, remember, cubic and cube root looks like a little S turned either sideways or right side up. Okay. So majority of y'all got that right. Good. Let's look at the next one. Take a moment. Take a moment. Look this one over. Take about 10 seconds. 